मैडम इट इज नॉट येट वन फुल ईयर सिंस आवर रेलवे मिनिस्टर एज्यूम्ड चार्ज ऑफ हिज ऑफिस बट इवेन ड्यूरिंग दिस शॉर्ट पीरियड ही हैज नॉट ओनली बीन एबल टू कीप अप द टेम्पो ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट इनिशिएटेड बाय हिज टू एलेक्ट्रोफर एजिशर्स बट ही हैज एडेड कंसिडरेबली टू देयर स्प्लेंडेड रिकॉर्ड अ लार्ज वॉल्यूम ऑफ लिटरेचर इज नॉर्मली सर्कुलेटेड टू मेंबर्स ऑफ पार्लियामेंट अलॉन्ग विद द बजट एवरी ईयर द रेलवे मिनिस्ट्री अपियर्स टू हैव टेकन कंसिडरेबल पेन्स दिस टाइम टू ब्रिंग ईच एंड एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ रेलवे एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन प्रोमनेंटली टू लाइट दिस हैज नेटेड द प्रिपरेशन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ मोर पेपर्स दिस ईयर a thorough study of these papers brings to our mind a clear picture of the position of our railways as it was in the past as it is in the present and as it is proposed to be developed in the years to come the most redeeming feature of the budget for the next year is that it contains no proposal for the enhancement of passenger fares even though additional resources to the time of rupees 50 crores have been sought to be raised next year the last increase in the passenger fare took effect from july 1962 the program of planned development of the country including the program of expansion and development of the railways needed huge resources added to this emergency due to the chinese incursion came before the year was out it was therefore natural to expect that next year's taxation proposals might include enhancement of passenger fares the railway minister deserves the thanks and gratitude of the general travelling public of the country that he has spread them from this burden a small increase in the goods and parcel traffic rate has however been proposed and this will undoubtedly cause some hardship to the people the railway minister has however elaborately explained in his budget speech that the effect of this increase will not fall heavily on the railway users in that view of the matter i venture to think that people will not mind this additional burden to strengthen the railways financial position and thereby make a definite contribution to the general exchequer and assist in the ways and means position of the general revenues the exemption from the proposed levy of a surcharge on parcel traffic granted to vegetables milk and newspaper will be welcomed another happy and admirable feature of the railway budget is an appreciable increase of the depreciation reserve fund and the development fund the two funds together constitute what may be called the two lungs of the railway finance and in that view of the matter a uh, rise in these two funds will be welcomed increase of the annual dividend payable to the general revenues on the railways capital at charge is a step in the right direction i would however venture to think that the next railway convention committee which is 
going to be set up in the year 1965 will see its way to recommend an increase of this dividend to 6% keeping in view the general rise in the borrowing power of the central government the additional contribution that will come from this increase of the dividend will amount only to rupees 4 crores the budget speech also contains a fairly comprehensive and exhaustive assessment of the railways performances during the last several years from which it is quite clear that the railways have not only succeeded in implementing the targets fixed for the first and the second plans but will also fulfill the targets fixed for the third plan the drive for indigenous manufacture of oil categories of railway equipment has also reached a high water mark and the day is not far off when our railways will not only be entirely self sufficient in all its requirements but will be able to earn foreign exchange by exporting their products abroad the chitranjan locomotive works at asansol the diesel locomotive works at varanasi the heavy electric locomotive works at bhopal and the integral coach factory at madras have all been geared up to accomplish these objectives the most credible thing about indigenous production is that the cost of locomotives and coaches manufactured in india is much below even the x factory cost of similar articles imported from europe these performances when added to the number of amenities that the railways have been providing us for the last several years do constitute what may be called a brilliant record of our railway administration and but for the railway accidents which have been occurring rather to frequently within recent years this record will be an all white record these accidents though regrettable need not be constructed as a serious black mark on the good name of our railway men in general